Welcome beautiful Gemini to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, welcome back to you. Uh, if there's any newcomers, welcome. <laughs> welcome back to me. I've been away for about a week uh, taking care of my little boy. <clears throat> and then I also caught something, but it's I'm feeling much better now. I'm so grateful, so thankful for the well wishes uh, in the community section. I highly appreciate it. I haven't had time to answer each and every one of you, but I'm so grateful, so thank you. So let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, for the upcoming time frame. I set um, the time frame to mid-March until somewhere mid-April of 2021. Wow, that was fast. And it's about anything and everything, really, because it's a general reading, so take whatever resonates. If you feel like I talk about love that might be applicable applicable to your career if i talk about a career it could be something that you can apply to your love life so take like take it however it fits you will feel what it's about for you and these are not quick fix readings these are like i build up the message over time so if you're here for a quick fix this probably is not your reading i'm i'm probably not your reader I just find I'm finding that out through the comment section that some some guys that just wants a quick fix uh, they're not into me I tell you that uh, <laughs> I'll I take my time and I want to see the symbolism and I want to see the colors and everything like the little nuances and details and and if there's any humor I'll take it um, Wow So just at first glance, like this, it's like, okay, you're going to see, oh, well, I'm okay, just going to show you them. Building blocks, number 28. Uh, we have round and round, number 25. Beautiful. Looks like a vortex to the universe. Uh, and happy, happy, 26. So we have 25, 20, 26, and 28. Um... I just like at first glance like when I just look at the cars coming out it's like you've built something and you've built something and you've built something like when the building block card comes out it's like this is not something you built yesterday this is something that you whether it's building yourself up whether it's building a company up whether it's building uh, a relationship up and it can it doesn't mean that necessarily like you're building something up physically it can be, but it can also be like energetically, like for the longest time, you just built yourself up energetically. Not too much has happened like on the outside, but you've built yourself up. If you've been working on a relationship, it can be that you've been working on a relationship with not a partner. It's just you have just over time added more and more things to what you would prefer in a relationship. And the same thing with the business. like. It's a business model that you've been thinking about, dreaming about, and building. Uh, it can also be physical, that you sort of have built something over time, over the years. Um, and it's a little bit like I see this uh, person, this woman, with the same hair color as I have right now. <laughs> I don't even know what I have in name anymore. Um, corona color is what I call it. Um, if, yeah, she looks like she's like... What was it again? The stuff that I've been building? Like, um, I'm looking for it. And it's also a little bit like a scratch in the head. Like, um, I, thought, I thought I was building something, but maybe not. Maybe not, because the round and round seems to just, uh, it seems to, it's like in the past, it has just gone round and round, like round and round in circles, and it hasn't really come to full fruition. Maybe you have entered into a certain relationship, but it sort of didn't, it wasn't yours after all, or you wanted to go for some dream or something, and after all, it was just not, it wasn't timing for it, like it, it, it felt through this time around again. Um, you know, working on yourself with certain things is like, it's just, it feels like a spiral that you just haven't been able to get out of until now, because... They have happy, happy on the table. So it's like you found something. You're sitting on this egg. And I love how we have this. We have Easter coming up pretty soon. Um, so it can be like a time frame. Talking about a time frame. Talking about something happening around Easter. Something is about to hatch around Easter. <laughs> I 
obviously it is around Easter, but um, sitting on this egg that you've been sort of Ruva. Ooh, we talked about this a couple of months ago, and I. And then I'm blocking myself. Because my guides could just literally give me the word. Uh, but I'm not going to find it now. You know when the hen is just sitting down over, over the egg? They would ruva it in Swedish. Rava. <laughs> Sounds very funny in Swedish because it sounds like something else. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. So anyway, it's like you've been sitting on something for a while. The building blocks is here and you've been sitting for some on something for a while. And here's your wish fulfillment. You have the biggest star sitting in front of your heart and you have a few stars circling around you and you also have a star very clearly like in, in your on your third eye there. So there's really like wishes of wishes of fulfillment fulfillment of wishes happening for you right now there's something coming in for sure you see that beaming of light beaming of the rainbow just shooting through your head like the crown is on fire so we're going to see what this is about so we're going to start with this building blocks can we clarify this 28 so that is a completion of something it's conversations in relationships and it's the infinity sign. <clears throat> Whatever you send out over and over and over again is now coming back. Like it's now returning to you. It's it's as above, so below. It's, like, it's strong manifestation. You're making it happen. It's also completion. So it's like no more needs to be done here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. Wow. One and six, so sixteen. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm a I'm a number nerd, a numerology nerd. Uh, love begins, and and wow, it's just whatever you've been building. And even though I think you know, I think I'm sitting here just taking. So if you feel like this, or if you feel like that, or if this is something you work on, or or if this is something you work on, and I think I just take it sort of like a, it's just suggestions, uh, but not. It, it's really not. It's all of it you actually are working on something when it comes to love love begins number one it's a brand new beginning um and then we have material and spiritual prosperity with number six which is the connection with your inner being is the connection with the universe and if you combine those we have one and six which is 16 so that's sudden shifts and sudden changes so whatever you've seen like whatever you've built and you you've been trying to build something towards something an example would be, because love begins in material and spiritual prosperity. That's basically all. That's like, like beginning again with all. And so it, it, to, to just give one example, it's like you could have worked on a relationship for the longest time. You could even have been in a relationship for the longest time. And then all of a sudden it just ends. You might have thought that you were going to be with this person forever and ever this was your forever person um and then it just ends and it's not obviously a never out of the blue but it ends and in comes this person love begins in comes this person that a minute ago you probably thought you were going to be with somebody else for the rest of your life and you thought that was so suiting it was so perfect it was so fitting because you sort of also get into a route where you sort of, well, I'm supposed to be with this person and so I'm so I'm with this person, right? And then a new person comes in and it just fit, the fit, the fitting of it, like it just fits you so much better. That's the building block, like through your past relationships. And like I said, it's just an example. So it's not like something I really, really pick up on, but since I'm using it as an example, that's probably gonna fit for, for a lot of you guys. Um, but it can also be like you're in a relationship and you've been working towards something and working towards something and working building blocks, like building, 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 building and wanting to see some sort of change. And then all of a sudden, 16 happens. Like it's a it's a sudden shift and, and all of a sudden you just see this new version of the same person. It looks like it's the same, you know, same name, same face, same hair color. Um, 
well, questionable hair color, perhaps, but uh, it looks the same, but then you realize, oh my God, how many different versions can you actually attract from the same single person? As many as the changes that you're making within yourself. So you will feel like if it's the end of the road uh, for some of you guys, or if you're like in a relationship and something new, love begins. It's like the love is pouring out of that cup and we're beginning again. It's a new start. It's a fresh start. It can also be um, a, if you've been single for a while, we have a lot of rainbow there. Like we see the rainbow being, it looks like the rainbow to me in that little creek in that little water creek and then we have the rainbow on top of it and so it's like it's shooting down on you we have a lot of rainbow energy here this is building blocks like we're this is the clarification for building blocks so you have built this relationship you've built material and spiritual prosperity for yourself so over time there's been immense growth for you where you have just <clears throat> whatever however the situation looks for you that you are now stepping into some sort of new relationship love wise and new prosperity new material prosperity um it's equally as much like you've grown spiritually and that's why you can attract what you're attracting right now you're laying a new foundation for yourself in basically every area i love to see this uh and then we want to clarify round and round which has not been to your liking in the past. Again, we have conversations in relationships. There's a lot of conversation going on right now, either with a certain person or, or the conversation is just on your mind a lot. And then we have five, which is a great opportunity for change here. And we see that change happening, probably be right before your eyes. And then we add those up. We have number seven. <laughs> and seven has for me been... <clears throat> And randomly, I just start to laugh. <laughs> no, because seven has just become my cake story. It's so, so funny. Um, cake story is not funny, but it's so funny how that has happened. So, so seven is like all about you gathered enough information over time. Like you gathered the most beautiful ingredients in life. You know what you want and you know what you don't want for sure. It's not like you're 12 years old anymore and and you don't know who you are and you don't know your preferences yes you do you know exactly what you want out of life and you put all those ingredients building blocks <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> you put all those uh ingredients together into the most beautiful cake and you had it in your oven for a while and now you're taking it out and it's time to enjoy it so whatever has gone round and round it has not really come to fruition it, it still have yielded so much more. This is like your vortex of the universe. This is your um, treasure test. This is what you have accumulated, what you have piled up, what you have saved for, which is now starting to like be an upward spiral. It's going to start to be like to in your favor. I'm very drawn to the third eye there again. So strong indicator of this of the third eye which is all about your intuition paying paying attention to your intuition right now what you're being drawn to what the guidance is saying around you what seems to be like wanting to talk to you um and also trusting the like trusting the guidance trusting the intuition that you're feeling right now it's also your uh psychic gifts like you're opening up a lot to just more, more of your psychic gifts. That's all I have to say about that. Um, wow, material harvest. Okay, that's it. Okay. So we have, so we have six material and spiritual prosperity. We have number one, uh, love begins. That was for the building blocks, and now the round and round. What seems like it has been going round and round is now turning into material, material harvest. Is basically the same card as uh, material and spiritual prosperity. This is a wish fulfillment. We have number nine, which is ending of the old and coming into the new. It's also wish fulfillment. It's unconditional love. It's unconditional energy. And I see like whatever you have had like a, as a blueprint in the past, you see, you see the buildings behind you. Um, 
it's like a blueprint to things. So, so like having wishes and having dreams, the building blocks, like you've been, you've been building this up over the years and it has been a dream and this blueprint and the, the sketch, and it can literally be a house for some of you guys. You've been sketching on a house, houses, even, um, building your own house, whatever this is, is whether it's like a blueprint in your mind, like this is what I want for my life, or whether it's like literally for some of you, um, drawing on a house or drawing on a, like, this is my blueprint for this, uh, workplace, or this is my blueprint for this relationship. It's coming into fruition here now. It's material harvest. And you're, you're, if, if you're not seeing it just yet, it's like tomorrow it's going to be here. And I don't know about you guys, but as of yesterday, um, the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was, I mean, I haven't felt sleepier. Like it was such a slow day. It was so tough. Like it was so, and it was like, I, I, I assigned all these things to why it was so freaking tiresome and low in energy. And it was this, ugh, like I couldn't, it was like, a, can, can this day just be over? Because it just, it was so freaking slow. And then yesterday, it was like, <laughs> what is going on? To the point where I was like, is this a, is it a full moon? Is, do we have a new, no, the new moon has just passed. Well, we're not in full moon energy just yet. I was like, is there any planets like doing something? Because it was just something which lifted off of me. And then yesterday, last night, for the life of, of my little boy, he could just not fall asleep. He, he was really trying really hard. He was just putting himself in every position possible, like pillow overhead, pillow underhead, pillow on butt, pillow on, <laughs> on different places. And he was like, I can't sleep. I was like, I, know, I, I feel you. Like I, he was just wide awake. And then finally he did fall asleep, but uh, then he, he woke up a couple of times and I had also huge trouble falling asleep and woke up so many times during the night. I think around 4 a.m. I was up eating everything out of my cupboards and uh, I was like, okay, now what? Like, what am I supposed to do now? Um, and usually if I've been up that, that way, uh, I am a little bit stumbly over my words. I feel that I, I am a little bit, I feel like a little bit fatigue in my body but if I would have been up that long or that much, like it was last night, I would have been drained by now. I would have almost felt a little bit sick because I'm so dependent on my sleep. And so, but I'm not. I just feel really bubbly and feel like there's magic in the air. And it helps that the sun was out and birds are, birds are singing and, you know, but it's magical in the air. I don't know if you feel it, guys. There's something... There's a shift here and I don't really, maybe you guys know, maybe there's something, yeah, yesterday we had that little thing between planets um, that I don't know about, but it, there's something that has been lifted for sure uh, that would just allow me to feel really upbeat. So maybe you feel it. And so I feel for you, like having this energy on your side as well, there's something that that's being added now. Like you don't, maybe you felt like, oh, contracts wasn't working like contracts wasn't everything has been falling through like it hasn't just come to a closure or there's been hiccups or technical issues or you know and then all of a sudden it's like an open open pathway open gate you can just go now and so you're manifesting all these different things because because you're manifesting it but also you have the wind in your back right now it's really helping you. We have the sun there. So it speaks about a lot of uh, joy and happiness as well. So the round and round that has not come to fruition is now coming to fruition. It's time to enjoy what you have created. Gemini. And then we want to uh, create. What? And then we want to clarify. Happy, happy, please. Again, conversation, communication, and relationships. With 26, they're number two. And then number six again. We had number six before. Yeah, material and spiritual prosperity, uh, which is the connection with your inner, inner being. Very connected to your inner being, to your higher power, to your, to the universe. 
And then adding those up, we have a number eight again. Infinity sign, forever. Stepping into your happily ever after, like your forever home, your forever relationship, your forever. I'm not the first person to speak about forever because it puts a lot of pressure on stuff. I almost feel a little bit claustrophobic as soon as you talk about forever. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> um, what? For the happy, happy, I get conflict and defeat. Why? Can we clarify this conflict and defeat, please? Okay. <clears throat> clarify conflict and defeat, please. Ooh. Number 10, the Wheel of Fortune. Number 20, New Beginnings. Number 10, Michael. Wow. Number 13, peace. Look at this. Two number 10. We have three number 10 on the table now. Uh, okay. It just speaks about... Right. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> so happy, happy. You're about to get into your happy place. You're about to get your happily ever after. You're, you're, happy for, you're forever happy. You're forever home. You're forever relationship. You really are stepping into this new energy here, guys. You will you will end up here and you've been you've been sitting on this egg for quite some time and it's about to hatch. Um, for some of you guys it could literally be a baby. I see this baby face uh, inside of this egg. So there's been something that you've been brewing, something you've been like sitting on forever and wanting it to hatch, like wanting it to come to fruition. So maybe there's even a pregnancy here. Um, and then I get like uh, conflict and defeat and I was like what it doesn't match whatsoever with the happy happy um, energy but it talks about where you came from because we have 25 and we have and we have the fact that you haven't felt you're looking for it like you don't know where it is where's my happy happy where's I've been building this forever and ever but it's like you're scratching your head because you wonder where the heck it is like how how long can a person build something without <laughs> without it actually showing up, you know? And so, how does it see this face? This face is coming through, almost looking like the devil, and I don't want to scare anybody, but it's almost looking like the devil, but it's like, not, not in a negative way, it's just like, it's a little bit of a devilish, like, yeah, you know, you don't know what's about to happen, you don't know what's about to take place, like, you've been building and you've been, a bit frustrated and it feels like um maybe just like a like a limbo situation you know you don't really feel you probably have felt that things are moving and felt like things are sh shifting and changing but but still where's where's my stuff you know where's my car whatever that is for you um there's been a frust frustration here but i didn't think that you had been like this defeated so at time, I don't feel like this is now because you're stepping into this material harvest and we see this 10, 10, 10, which is like completion, completion, completion. It's, and so it can be literally a completion in relationships, a completion in, in finances and a completion in like your career, a completion in like, it can literally be several themes that you have been working on that has been going on in your life and we have come to a completion. That can be the case for some of you guys, and it can also be that it just highlights the completion. Like, understand now that no more of this. The, conf the conflict and defeat is over. And, like, a flicker of a light has just kept you up and has kept you going in the darkest of times and where it felt really tough there for, for a little bit. Great opportunity for change. So this is like overcoming that hardship with the number five there again. And... Coming into this, like, just take a look at this, guys. So what fell at first was the wheel. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Wheel of fortune. It's a spiritual, uh, it's a purple border, so it speaks about the, the spiritual growth. 
We have a second uh, purple border. It's number 20, which is the 2.0 version of you. You have upgraded yourself. You're stepping into this new beginning. You have complete, complete backing up by the divine. I don't think the, uh, the bigger, like a bigger picture of the divine can just show you that they're with you. From the other side, they're with you. You're so in the connection with your higher power, with the, with the guides, with the universe right now, with the divine. Um, it says starting a new life. Finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So it just shows again, like the wheel is like we're leaving the past behind and we go into the new future here, a new era, if you will. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> it's sounded like wink, wink, wink. Um, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So understanding that the past has only yielded to you where you're stepping into right now. The past is not something that was like you could do without, that's actually what has created everything that you're now stepping into. Uh, we have a third number 10 here coming out, third of my, third, 10 of Michael. A situation has ended. I mean, it's saying the same thing over and over again. A situation has ended and you're finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Didn't we have that on the first? Uh, a change in direction that offers happiness. And this is the clarification for happy, happy. Okay. Um, New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So again, they're talking about putting the past behind you and really step into the new. And I love this image. Like we have, first and foremost, we have two swans there, like one on each side. And the swans to me, like coming together, I think the swans are mating, like they pick one partner and they stay with them. The swans to me also represent like so much creativity and music and singing and dancing and just creativity overall um this is like um usually the story comes out and if it's here today again it's like when you feel like you played your role well like if you were in a lousy relationship or if you if you have been through some uh work stuff or or health issues or whatever you can just imagine it being like it was the best role that you played of your life it was the best like okay so you were in this um drama you were in this drama and you played this role of having no finances bad health and uh lives of relationships the the i mean i'm over exaggerating now but at the end of the day it's like it's just a role that you were playing all the extras in it all the other leading roles in it they're just characters in this movie and, and you're sort of taking a bow saying, okay, so that ended. I played that role really well. It was almost like Oscar worthy. Um, and now you're sort of taking a step back to say, okay, so I'm done with that character. I'm done with the character that has played being poor or being like out of a relationship, being not feeling love, not feeling loved, not being able to materialize or manifest the things that you've been wanting we've come to an end and you play the role really well and it's time to step into the the happiness of it to start to pick another character the character of your dreams the character that has that has the most beautiful relationship the character that is worthy and financially abundant uh, whatever this is for you career-wise you're just stepping into your purpose to your passion 10 there again like I said and then we have yet another uh, purple border. So the spiritual growth is enormous. Uh, number 13 speaks about death leading to life. Again, release the past. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. And it shows again the divine is so with you. And you just need to sort of follow the breadcrumbs right now. Listen to that intuition. And uh, you will have peace. 13 is transformation, death leading to life. It's going into the feminine energy, the divine feminine to just follow where you feel like the, the energy is taking you right now because it will lead you right into pure, pure happiness, happy, happy, and peace. If you feel like this is your reading, if you resonate with this, you're so welcome to the extended reading. I'm going to start to make that ASAP. Um, and why I said that, never say that uh, as soon as possible. Um, the link to that is in the description uh, box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching Gemini and I hope to see you back soon. Take care, guys. Happy, happy, everybody.